am back with a, another video for you guys today. Um, today, um, but as you guys can see, I am back in the hospital again. And I've been here for a little bit, actually. Um, but I want to let you guys know that I am getting a port. And a port is basically like this little, I don't know what they call it in medical term, but it's something that will help me not get poked a lot. It's like, once you put the needle in, it's like connected to my, is it connected to my heart, mommy? Or major artery or it's something major, to, major to where I can get blood and they can get they can get blood from me and I can get my medicine and stuff more easily. I won't have to get poked a lot for it. And yeah, I have been wanting this for a while. I've had a port twice. The first time I had a port, it just clocked out on me. Um, they don't know what happened, it just stopped working. And then the second time, um, I had surgery and then a nurse let me go home with it accessed after surgery. And it got infected, y'all. I was pissed. I only had my freaking port for three days. And I had to get it taken out because it was infected. But, anyways, I'm getting another one. I've been going through freaking hell these last hospital visits. But my veins are finally, like, clocking out on me. They've been clocking out, but... No, like, they, they for real don't want me, y'all. So, yes. Um... More, I came here for a regular sickle cell crisis, and then a lot of other things started happening. In these past few hospital visits, a lot of other things began to happen during me coming here for a crisis. So this time, I came in for a regular crisis, and I have I found out that I had a vascular necrosis. Y'all, I didn't even know that I can. I'm still learning different things day by day each time both that I come. Yeah, me and my mom are still, like, learning different things. Like, sickle cell, it comes with a lot. So, I didn't even know that we could get this because we have sickle cell. This is another thing that I got to worry about. But, um, so, yes, I'm going to be taking you on my journey. Um after surgery this is before surgery i'm scheduled for surgery tomorrow so okay, yeah stay tuned so um i just got my port done i'm hurting my kill Last night, I started hurting in my lower back, so that makes it worse. And before I went downstairs, I didn't get no pain medicine, so I had to wait until the procedure happened to get something for pain, and then that didn't help. And then I was awake for the whole procedure, so that made it even worse. Like, I'm already in pain, I'm awake, and you're operating, like on my chest so that frustrated me even more so I'm very uncomfortable I'm very frustrated so yeah. Yeah. I know I'll probably be happy after this like after this is all over and you know I got my port and stuff but as of right now, like, I'm not really happy at this very moment, so, yeah, that's where I am after this. Having a shitty morning. Hopefully the day gets better. I don't know. We shall see. So guys, I just woke up um, from earlier. Y'all, I feel like ass, 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 and titties. Seriously. Oh my god. Oh my god, y'all. Like, it just don't make no sense. 
this is where my pore is it doesn't even look that bad but it feels like somebody that slipped me open from my anus all the way up into my chest Jesus fix it Jesus fix it at least I can smile now because earlier I swear I wanted to kill him but we're not going to talk about that well, my mom is here and she's catering to me because I can't move at all I I'm sorry, I'm gonna cry baby when it comes to surgery. If it's a little slit, I'm crying. Yeah. And getting a port is really not a big it's not a big incision or anything. But Jesus It's a major so it's still main, main your yeah, heart. like it still goes to your main parts of your body, like main arteries and stuff. And so heart. it's still a big surgery, even though it's like minor slits and stuff. Oh my god. And I was awake through everything they just gave me some i forgot what they gave me some some stuff to make my body relax or whatever but that i wasn't relaxed at all <laughs> so and then they gave me a lot of cane to numb it and everything but lord oh i think this only take a couple days to heal i forgot to heal the process of this because i had already had it twice but I still don't know the routine, so hopefully y'all I'll be good. I'm gonna keep y'all posted.